Hi. So let us revise circles today. Now a circle is a collection of points which are equidistant from a fixed point and that fixed point is called as a center. Now if this center is placed on the origin of the Cartesian plane, the circle is called as a standard circle. And the equation of standard circle is x square plus y square is equal to r square. Now, if the circle is moved on to some other point, suppose hk, so the equation of circle changes using the shift of origin method and the equation becomes x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square equal to r square. This form is called as a center radius form of the circle. Now, suppose the center of the circle is not known. But the end points of the diameter of the circles are known. We can also find the circle equation of circle in the diameter form, which is x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2 is equal to 0. That is called as a diameter form. Now, the circle can either be found out in the center radius form or the diameter form, and simplifying these equations will give you the general equation of a circle which will look in this form x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. There will be a term of x square, y square, a term of x, a term of y and a constant. Now let us have a simple examples based on these equations. In this example, we need to find the equation of a circle whose center is at the origin and the radius is 10. So we know the circle whose center is at the origin is a standard circle and the equation of standard circle is x square plus y square equal to r square. Just substituting the value of r is equal to 10, we get the equation as x square plus y square is equal to 100. In this question, we need to find the equation of a circle whose center is 2 minus 3 and the radius is 5. Now we know the center as well as the radius of the circle. So we can use the center radius form that is x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square is equal to r square. Just substituting the value of h, k and r and simplifying the equation, we get the equation of circle as x square plus y square minus 4x plus 6y minus 12 is equal to 0. Now in this question we need to find the equation of circle whose end points of the diameter are known that is 2 minus 2 and 5 6. So as the end points of diameter are known to us, we can use the diameter form which is x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2 is equal to 0. So taking any point as x1 y1 and the other point as x2 y2, I can substitute all the given values and simplifying I will get the equation of circle as x square plus y square minus 7x minus 4y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now we have seen how to find the equation of a circle using the given conditions. Now suppose we need to find the position and the size of the circle using the given equation of a circle. Okay, Exactly the reverse process. Now suppose this is the general equation x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. We need to find the center and the radius of the circle. That can be simply found out by, the center can be found out by the coordinates minus g minus f and the, and the radius and the radius can be found out by root of g square plus f square minus c. So these are the two simple equations to find out the center and the radius of the circle. So using this information, using all these formulas, we can solve many equations based on circles. Let us solve few examples based on these equations.
we need to find the radius and the center of the circle x square plus y square plus 4x plus 6y is equal to 0. So we know the general equation of the circle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. Comparing both these equations, I can get the value of g, f and c. So the coefficient of x in our general equation is 2g whereas the coefficient of x in the given equation is 4. So 2g should be equal to 4 and g should be equal to 2. Similarly, 2f is equal to 6 and f is equal to 3 whereas the value of c is directly given which is minus 3. Now we know the center is given by the equation minus g minus f. So substituting the value of g and f, I will get the center of the circle. And you know the formula for the radius is root of g square plus f square minus c. Substituting the value of g, f and c in the equation, I will get the radius as 4. So these were some basic formulas which you should know before you start learning circles.